What's up guys, this is Stribblin' and today I got a gameplay for you on Village and it's a free-for-all and the thing, the funny thing about what happens here at the beginning is I get like one, maybe two kills and then I just start walking down the road and then a knife decides to meet my face and this is pretty impressive right here. <laughs> he does a 360, it bounces off the roof and hits me. <laughs> Props to you. Anyways, so today we're going to be talking more like kind of about free-for-all chips and I'm using the uh, PB90. I know everyone says it's overpowered, but you know, you still gotta be a good player to use an overpowered gun. You can't suck and completely be bad at Call of Duty and use an overpowered gun and go like great um, scores. Anyways, I get like a 30 and five on this game, but the gameplay is not really, well, I mean, it is important, but you know, the score is not what matters. But, um, so basically, when, when you're playing free-for-all, you kind of need to hold down, like, a certain area. Not necessarily camp, but hold down an area that, um, is not necessarily high traffic, but, and doesn't enter, intersect with an, a high traffic area. But there is some activity in there. So you're not overwhelmed by enemies, but there is enough enemies in that area to get a good score. Like, as you can see right now on the gameplay, I'm running around kind of near the back of the map, almost, but it's not in the terribly high traffic areas, like over where that truck is on the other side of the map. That's like a high traffic area. That's where the grenades are thrown, the flashbangs and the concussion grenades, all that stuff that just is annoying and will get in your way. And yeah, the thing is with me, when I play free-for-all, I hardly ever lose. Like, if you looked at my stats, there's, like, maybe one game where I didn't go for either first or second, and I think it's because I disconnected out of the game. So yeah, kind of cheap. But yeah, I guess the reason that I go so that I do so well in free for all is because I don't have to worry about teammates. And usually teammates get in my way, especially in a game like Call of Duty, where it's not really team oriented, whereas like Battlefield 3 is strictly team oriented. You can't be a lone man and get a lot of kills or win the game. You have to stick with your squad. Um, whereas in Call of Duty, you can just go around and kill and usually still win the game. But yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy free-for-all because I can just rush around, not have to worry about object, an objective, not have to worry about a teammate. You know, whenever I see somebody, I know it's an enemy, so I can just shoot at them. And whenever I see, or I mean, whenever I hear footsteps, I know it's an enemy. So it's really great. And I guess that's probably why the, re the reason that I do so well in free-for-all. Also, that the tactics, I don't know, they just, for free-for-all, they just like kind of come to me as like a natural like sixth sense. And I guess a lot of people don't have that, which is why I'm sharing these tactics with you now. But yeah, another thing that's good for free-for-all is the specialist package. Because, think about it, you only have 30 kills that you can get um, as a maximum. And most people run the support now because, oh, I don't die, so I can get a kill streak uh, easily. Or, I mean, a point streak. So... But when you're playing free-for-all, it's, you know, you probably want more kills, you know. So I think that the specialist package is probably the way to go. Now what I'm using right now is I'm, I have, um, I think, Slider Hand Pro on, and Hardline Pro, and then Steady Aim Pro. And it kind of helps with the Hardline Pro, because then it goes 135 instead of uh, 246. And if you didn't know this already, every time you get a perk on that like the 135 or the 246 uh you get double xp on that kill and also there's many challenges for gaining different perks on the specialist package and i get like 10,000 like every like maybe three times a game just because i'm getting all the challenges for that perk but yeah i'm using sleight of hand pro hardline pro and steady aim pro as my like preliminary perks and then I'm using dead silence and then scavenger and then quick draw so yeah I think that that's probably well I like it a lot you don't have to use it just because I use it but I mean if you want to you can anyways I hope you've enjoyed this commentary and 
be sure if you learn something, give it a like, um, favorite, you know, all that. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.